Hey, so I've been working on a game called KO Chaos for about three years now. This game is my dream game. I've always wanted to make this kind of uh, Dark Souls-like game, but I never knew exactly how to go about it. Dark Souls, Elden Ring, uh, even Demon Souls. I've played Bloodborne. All those games are my favorite game. I even enjoyed Sekiro. The, all those games are my favorite. I'm a genuine fan. I've loved them for a real long time now. I started making the game with a tutorial from Heartbeast. Uh, he had a game maker tutorial that was strictly 2D hack and slash based. I went in watching the tutorial thinking I was going to get a free pass to making my dream game. That was the problem. I used the tutorial and pretty much learned nothing. So I went out of my way to experiment. I wanted to make a Souls-like with a deep story and an inventory system and a bunch of different levels and weapons. That was immediately another problem right there. I wanted to do so much with very little experience and I tried so many different things. This game has gone through about five different revisions now and the three years of developing the game was actually just me tuning the different revisions and going back on a lot of different things. So I was not happy with the way the game was going, where it was heading. It wasn't going in any sort of direction. It was just kind of Oh, I want to do this. Oh, that. Oh, this. Oh, that. So it kind of just dwindled back and forth and it was kind of sucky. So I am genuinely happy with where the game is now. Um, I knew exactly what art style I wanted to try and mimic. And I really, and I, I am a really big fan of RimWorld and the art style. Uh, here's a screenshot of my Steam Hours. I mean, that's a lot to me because I have very little free time. And that was the, it still kind of is the main game I played. It's a very simplistic art style, but I really enjoy it a lot. So that's what I went for. Limbless, square-headed people, easy to animate and fun to work with. Uh, it is limited, but it genuinely works for me. Uh, after not being happy with the state of the game, I was going to turn the game into a platformer fighter or a platform fighter. I uh, strictly tried this for a couple months, but I didn't like it that much. So now I'm here. Uh, I am currently making the game a 2D side-scrolling vampire survivors-like with Souls-like combat. Uh, it sounds weird, but I am genuinely happy with where the game is heading now. I am serious. I really am loving the direction this game is taking. Um, I, have some, I have some advice for some people wanting to develop their first game. I'd recommend not trying to work on your dream game, actually, and trying to it depends which engine obviously you're going for but if you're going for something like game maker godot even unity unreal engine i seriously recommend just watching tutorials taking what that tutorial gives you working on it piece by piece that is actually how the engine for my game was built with tutorials slowly over time and learning different things about it and even implementing my own things and stuff like that so I really recommend try working on smaller stuff and you can implement that into your dream game later on. That is really what I recommend. That's what I was told and I didn't listen. It's smart to start off small. That's really what I recommend. Anyways, from now on, I would like to get back to working on the game some more. So yeah, see you later.